Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, or whenever you're watching this, hello. Before I get on with today's Bayern Munich episode, I thought I would update you on the GJ Challenge, the Golden Journeyman Challenge, which was my main save for FM16. Then my computer, my laptop, just completely prevented me from being able to play the save very well. And I've taken a break, and I was planning on bringing it back, then I thought, Maybe I'll scrap it. But then there's a number of you that have been asking about it. So I thought I'd upload a new episode in the next couple of days and see what you think. See see the people, your opinions on, on the save if you want to see me continue it. So make sure you watch out for that coming out very soon. Willkommen to episode 3 of this Bayern Munich Football Manager 2016 series where today we're taking on Stau in the Champions League, our first Champions League game of the season and I'm also going to show you the game against Dortmund, massive massive game in the league obviously and sandwiched between that I will just show you the goals of our, our fixture against Cologne. So how have I been getting on since? The last episode, episode 2, where we managed to defeat Hamburg 7-2 in a, a cracking game to start off the season. We actually then drew 1-1 away from home against Hertha Berlin. Bit of a disappointing game. Let's just have a look here. You can see Barbosa opened the scoring after two minutes. But Solomon Kalou, of all people, managed to equalise in the second half. Let's look at Barbosa's goal then. Alonso into Vidal. Who's had a really great start to the season. I'm not sure why they have to have this really extended highlight when showing a goal. It's a bit annoying, but you can see a bit of the build-up play here, I guess. It was actually a, a counter-attack from us. They, we um, lumped up the pitch and Barbosa ran through and finished for his second goal for the club, I think. Yep, second goal of the season, that one was. Uh, but they did actually get back into it themselves countering after we had some possession. We've been playing really lovely football but haven't managed to get as many goals as uh, previously in, in the last episode. We were just so clinical, so direct, well not direct, good build-up play, getting lots of goals. Uh, but this, just the last three games, these three league games I've played, not quite su so successful going forwards, converting our chances. Kalu with the near post flick there to get them back in the game. We then beat Werder Bremen 3-2, so goals in this game, but once again, not quite as clinical in managing to uh, thrash oppositions. Let's have a look at the goals against Werder Bremen, then still trying to get this one centre-back tactic to work. I, I'm determined to make it work. You know when you just find this tactic that you just really want to work? And I suppose it sort of is working. Perhaps I'd be a bit more successful going with a more standard thing, but I want it to be something different in this series. I don't just want it to be a bog standard big team series. I want to try something different by trying this quirky tactic. And if this doesn't work, then I'll try a different quirky tactic. You can see Goetze there got his first goal of the season at the back post there. Alonso has been really good in that withdrawn role. So my central midfielders are playing well. Muller then set up Lewandowski to put us 2-1 up. However, uh, they did get a goal. No, wait, we, we went 3-1 up. You'll see we went 3-1 up and then they get a goal back towards the end of the game. But yeah, a bit, a slightly more comfortable game here. Obviously getting the win rather than a draw. Lewandowski threw to Muller who couldn't get it in at the first attempt and Lewandowski put it in on the rebound, his second goal of that game and fifth goal of the season. And this is their second goal of the game. Towards the end, a decent strike and made it a bit nervy at the end for us. And we've just come from behind to beat Darmstadt. It's a bit frustrating how we're just not... Look, shots 26, but only 8 on target in this game. Three clear-cut chances. I think we got about 5 in the last one. So we're creating chances. But shots-wise, it's a bit disappointing that there's not so many on target. Especially we've got Lewandowski and Muller. And all these amazing world-class players. That was a goal from Marcel Heller. Alaba was just caught out at the back. He's trying to get used to playing in that left wing back position, but I suppose he's having to behave as a centre back at times. And this was the equaliser. Muller into Lewandowski, those two combining once again to get us back into the game. Uh, and we did find the winner. 
in the 72nd minute, you'll see here. Finally, when, yeah, here we go. Thiago running through the substitute. Came on for Embolo, who got injured. Uh, and uh, Thiago got his first goal of the, the season and a crucial, crucial goal, meaning we are top of the league after four games, as you would expect. It's going to plan at the moment. Would have been nice if we'd managed to, to make it 100%, but not quite. Uh, we we're unable to do that, unfortunately. Transfer-wise, now there's been a bit of activity. You'll see here, I've not made any more signings, but I've actually sold a couple of players. Rafi was sold in the last episode. I've loaned out three players so far. This guy, Galdino, who's um, actually got a lot of potential. Looks like a decent player, 18 years old in my youth team. I've loaned him out to Hoffenheim. And Yavi Martinez, who in real life was injured most of last season, I think, for Bayern Munich. Hardly played a game. I've sold him. It's 23.5 million up front. It could rise to 31 million, I think. I just thought... I don't really need him. I've got so many decent midfielders or centre-backs, and I'm not really playing any centre-backs or many midfielders. So I think I'll grab the money, and in January, it means I can try and attempt to sign Glenn Murray again, can't I? He only played one game last season, so I don't think we're going to miss him a huge amount. We've actually made a loss on him, because Bayern signed him for £32.5 and it could rise to 31 and a half, I think. Uh, but we've actually made a slight a bit of a loss but i'm not too bothered so let's get on with this first game i've had to make some changes robin is now injured for three months he picked up another injury whilst on international duty literally a day after coming back from injury for me ruby st ribbery still out for a long time and m bolo is injured for two to three weeks douglas costa just coming back from a three-week injury so he's missed the last couple of games as well so i'm playing alaba on the left wing we'll see how he does that. he's not been fantastic this season i'll be honest um at left or oh, 7.72 average rating that's a bit harsh he's been re very good actually i just don't think he's i suppose he's been very defensive he's not really been going forwards much so i'm going to try him out on the left wing to see how he does he's had a good season so far i've been way too harsh there by saying he's not had a great season uh bernat's going to play at left back then Goetze and tiago behind Lewandowski. no shadow striker today muller's going to play as a ramdoita but yeah, I've got injuries to key players in, in the wing positions. It just so happens. So Barbosa is going to have a bit of a rest. He can come on, make an impact if necessary. So let's get on with this. It's the first Champions League game of the series, of the season. Let's see what we can do against Stau, a team we really should be beating. Let me know in the comments section below who you're managing on Football Manager 2016 at the moment. moment you can let me know how you're getting on. I know some people will probably still be on their first save and some people will be have it have having had multiple saves so far but just let me know how are you getting on how are you finding fm16 can we oh we, it was a right old scramble there we couldn't quite get the ball in taz is watching on in anticipation expecting a bit big win from me with this tactic that is working is working just about not today though nothing going on half an hour in okay a highlight at last after 34 minutes Alaba heads it into Gertz and Muller running onto it Vidal nice header back to Alonso lovely three ball to Muller Lewandowski 1-0 that's what I like to see seventh goal of the season for Robert Lewandowski already he's my key man up front if I lose him I suppose I'll have to play Barbosa or Mbolo or Muller up front there's options but I don't think there's anyone as good as Lewandowski in that strike position. Can't wait for my office chair to arrive, by the way. I'm sitting on a little wooden folding chair. It's not particularly comfortable. A manager needs some comfort. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys know. Whether it be playing in bed, in the car, in the shower, you know, you need some comfort. Can we get a second goal before half time here? Lewandowski tackled, or are they going to get back into this? We've got men... Oh, that's an awful effort from that guy, Tade. We've had 61% possession, a couple clear cut chances, 10 shots to their four. We've been dominant so far. Goal, uh, goal kick corner from Alonso, back to Vidal. Trying to work out the best method to score from corners as well. Thiago into Muller. Get a shot away, Muller. He does, it's deflected in for his third goal of the season. That's surely making it a bit more comfortable for us. Let's watch this again. Thiago into Miller. Dilly dallied a bit. Skipped past his man. And finally got a shot away. And a sliding tackle diverted it past the keeper. Bamboozled him completely. And at half time, we've been good. Miller has been very good. 7.9. Let's just keep it up. 
Alib is not really doing much on the left wing, but I'll keep him there for now. I'll probably bring on uh, Barbosa at some point. Okay, highlight a couple minutes into the second half. Now we just, we can't, don't do anything stupid now, guys. We just keep what, doing what we're doing. There's no need to, to do anything ridiculous. And Lam can just simply play this back to Neuer. He's going to go for a wonder by the looks of it. <laughs> into Vanatz, into Alaba. What's he going to do here? He's on a yellow card, so he has to be a bit careful. I'll bring him off soon. Vidal into Lewandowski. Is he on onside? Yes, eighth goal of the season for him. Second of the match. Lovely play. Is that another assist for Vidal? He's been fantastic so far this season. I think that's probably his fifth assist of the season. Great three ball. It's really working well for him in the box to box midfielder role. I've, I've often, I've loved him for so many years on FM, but I've always struggled with him a little bit. He always used to get so many yellow cards and reds, but he's, I don't think he's even got one so far this season. I might be wrong, but he used to get yellow card in literally every game in the role I played him. But this is suiting him nicely in this team. Here goes Stow. Are they going to get a consolation? Vidal plays it back to Bernat. Thumped up the pitch. And I'm going to take Alaba off now, I think, just before he gets red carded. We'll bring on, we'll bring on Kingsley Coman, actually. He's back from injury now. Uh, here they go. This could be a goal for them. Oh, it's a good save by Neuer once again. Oh, there's a flare going off over here. That is vicious. Very vicious. Corner to Stout. Easily headed away by Thiago. Thumps it up to Coman. Can we break here on the counter? Come on, Coman. Here he goes with his blonde hair. Oh, great cross in, Muller. Muller into the box. It's back to Bernat. Coman. Oh. Unlucky, probably should have done a bit better, but it was nice football from us on the counter. I'm going to take off. I, w I'm, uh, I can't take off Lewandowski, can I? He's, he's on a hat trick. I'm going to bring on Kimmich, actually, who's got real potential, actually. A decent player, Joshua Kimmich. Taz. Arsenal beating Galatasaray. I forgot to show you who's in my group. I've got Arsenal, Galatasaray, and obviously Stal. So. I fancy myself myself to get through that group. Arsenal, obviously, the, the hardest challenge out of those three. No disrespect to the other two teams. Here goes Lam. What are we going to do here? Have I still got one sub left to go? I suppose I should make it. Yeah, one more sub. We'll make it now, just as we're in the build-up, possibly to a goal. Rhodes going to come on for Alonso. Rhodes a really good, versatile player to have. I suppose that's why Bayern signed him. They signed him for a free a couple of years ago. And I think it's just his versatility. Utility man, that's what he is. Thiago Muller scores! He's deserved that. He's played well. Fourth goal of the season. A comfortable 4-0 win, it looks like, today. I think we'd maybe just struggle a little bit away from home. That's maybe our issue. But sometimes we just really are on... Just on fire. We're just... we Everything goes in for us. And other times we do struggle a little bit. A bit like the game against Hertha Berlin, which we drew 1-1. But this has been a very comfortable win in the Champions League. Here goes Koeman. This is probably going to be the end now. Vidal, can we get a fifth? Nope, that's it. That's full time. Good win. So Arsenal did beat Galatasaray. Just 2-1. Quite a close game. Uh, it does mean we're top of the group after one game. So I've just beaten Cologne 3-0 away from home. Hat-trick from Lewandowski, a really, really good win. I mean, in terms of statistics, it's probably been the most equal game yet, but in front of goal, we're very good. David Alaba actually missed a penalty in the in the first uh, stages of the game as well. So could have been even worse for Cologne, but really good performance. Boateng very good at centre-back by himself once again. Lewandowski obviously with a hat-trick, but Bernat coming in on the left wing with two assists as well. Really good performance from him. Did make a few changes just to give players like Vidal and Alonso a rest ahead of the crucial game against Dortmund, but kept the likes of Lewandowski on the pitch. Also kept Muller out. He came off the bench. Douglas Costa came off the bench in the second half as well, uh, just coming back from injury. Goetz have played reasonably well in attacking midfield. This was the second goal then, look at this. This is a fantastic assist and a good header from Lewandowski. <laughs> Lovely goal. And then we managed to round it up, off with a third. Towards the end of the game, Lewandowski 
now has 11 goals this season, which is a really, really good record at this stage of the season. I think in real life, though, he was scoring billions, wasn't he? But if we look at the team, just to, just to compare, you can see Lewandowski, 11 goals in 8 games for him. Average of 8.08. .08. Müller's the second top scorer of 4. And then there's a bit of a gap, you know, I mean, you've got Vidal on two, Costa and Barbosa on two as well. Assists-wise, though, Vidal, five in six. Miller's got four, four goals and four assists. He's having a good season. Gertz has got three. It's, I mean, we're sharing the assists around, but goals-wise, Lewandowski is dominating in that lone striker role behind four attacking players. He's really benefiting from that phenomenal stuff. Just heard a siren go past. I can't get away from them. They're after me. So we're taking on Dortmund today at home. Really, really big game. And I, I think I've got my strongest lineup. Neuer in goal, Lahm, Boateng, Alaba, Alonso, Vidal, Barbosa, Muller, Goetze, Douglas Costa and Lewandowski. You can see how I've got every player available to me in the first team uh, picked for the squad because everyone else is injured. Ribery, Robin, and Bolo and Kirchhoff. So lots of and Co Kingsley Coman as well. How's, how long's he injured out? Four to five weeks. All my injuries. They're not just like two days of a gashed finger. They're they're like really long. It's a bit annoying. So where am I in the table? You probably want to see that before we take on Dortmund. We're on thirteen points, two ahead of Wolfsburg, but we've got a game in hand over them. Dortmund, however, if they can win this game, they'll go level with us on points. So it is a pretty crucial game to win be great if you could hit that like button as usual guys be much appreciated it really helps out the series if you're enjoying it hit the like button so this is the team Dortmund have put out Marco Royce we have to watch out for him their team certainly isn't as strong as it was a few years ago when they had Jurgen Klopp but we and they're not actually playing uh, a bag um, Obama Yang <laughs> I can never pronounce his name properly He's been lethal in real life, hasn't he? Really, really top quality this season. His pace and acceleration is insane. But I would say he's slightly underrated. To I think perhaps he'll have an upgrade. Because, I, I, I mean, finishing and composure aren't that high. And he's been scoring bucket loads of goals. They're actually playing Ramos in this game for some reason. Who's certainly not up to his standard. He's only got 10 on finishing. But this guy, who I won't even try to pronounce, the guy from Armenia... I think he's Ar Armenian. Yeah, Armenia. Um, he's a quality attacking midfielder. Really, really top quality. Well, uh, well, I would say he's world class. Yeah, world class attacking midfielder. Okay, let's uh, let's do that. Just get my assistant to do that. I'm going to say assertively, go out there and carry on where he left off. Can we keep a clean sheet for the third successive game? That would be nice. I think it's third. Or was it fourth? I can't count. I can't remember. But we've been improving defensively this is where it's going to go completely horribly wrong isn't it Goetze into Douglas Costa out wide to Barbos oh good save by Weidenfeller at the near post by the way I think I'm thinking of doing an episode where I changed the language to German someone suggested it in episode one I think that's quite a good idea my Schuler heist Morsham high oh no I oh, said he was good and he's just scored well, we're not going to keep a clean sheet then. They've t opened the scoring inside the first 10 minutes. That's not good. Come on, guys. Get back into this. Battle hard against your rivals. Not, It's not a local derby, but obviously they're, they're rivals, really. And, oh, Neuer with two spectacular saves to keep that out. They're all over us at the moment. Royce whips it in. Headed away. Douglas Costa, come and get on the end of that. Nope. Royce, good tackle. I think that was maybe Alonso. And we're going to do a bit of mixed passing. See if that makes a difference. Come on, Taz. You can sit up there and watch. Oh, Vidal's got injured. Duh, I hope it's not serious. It's only an orange injury at the moment. I'm definitely going to take him off. Can't risk him. Goetze. Can we get an equaliser here? Hits it into the box. Vidal out wide to Barbosa. Surely Muller scores. Yes. Road is going to come on for Vidal. He's played well for me when he's had to. But Vidal out wide to Barbosa who put in the simple ball to Muller who fired it into the top left-hand corner. That is crucial. We need to at least draw this game. Costa's not having the best of games. I'm going to say unlucky. Use the old classic unlucky. And there's a lot more to come from the defence. That will boost them 
Douglas Costa only on a 6.4. Lewandowski hasn't really been in the game so far. Let's see if we can change it around in the second half. Create some more opportunities. But they're playing a definitely more solid tactic than me. Uh-oh. Oh, what was that? What was the defending? Where were you? Castro gets them back in the lead. 2-1. Like I said in the first episode, perhaps I really do need to play two at the back when I play these stronger teams. I just, I really am determined to try and make something ridiculous like this tactic work. Barbosa into Müller, Lewandowski, come on. Into Barbosa, back to Lahm. Royce, uh, Royce Road, Müller, oh he's got another. Ah, oh, he's having a good game today as the shadow striker. And it's his sixth goal of the season, it's 2-2. I'm going to just keep it like this. This is a good game. It's a Spectre Goetze with a backhill through ball. That was wonderful from him. That's why he's able to win World Cups. He's a class player. Doesn't always perform. He's not always consistent, but he can sometimes produce a bit of magic. He's a bit of a football manager legend as well. I've loved him for years. And oh, that's why he's only got 10 on finishing. Müller up to Lewandowski. Through to Barbosa. What's he going to do here? Barbosa to Lewandowski! Ah, oh, thank you. Now let's just calm it down a bit. We're going to go to standard. Keep hold of the ball, retain it. Shorter passing is what we need to do. Just calm the game down a bit now. It's been quite goal happy in the first 60 minutes. And that's a lovely assist from Barbosa there. Plays it through. There's three of them with the opportunity to get on the end of that. And it's... Lewandowski, of course, that gets on the end of it to make it 3-2. I think I'm going to bring off Douglas Costa. He's really done nothing in this game. We'll bring on Bernat again, the Spanish left-back who's quite attacking-minded, which is how he got those two assists in the last game. He's a really good backup for Alaba, but can play on the wing too. Useful player. Oh, good tackle by Alaba, but here goes the Armenian. <laughs> And we've managed to win the ball back. Muller into Barbosa. Lovely ball through to Lewandowski. Come on. Bernat. Oh, what a save by the keeper. If that had been Douglas Costa, maybe I'd have fancied him a bit better. But it's just the way it is when you make these subs. Douglas Costa is not the best finisher in the world, though. Noy is only on a 6.3. He's not had a good game at all today. Unusual from him. And uh oh, they're through at the back again. Yanezai. On loan from Man United, Neuer makes a save that time. Last substitute then. Barbosa's had a cracker, two assists, but he's knackered. Alonso's pretty tired, but I probably should keep him on. I think Goetz are off for Thiago's the sensible option. Just play him as a, an attacking midfielder support. I mean, I probably should bring players back. That's the sensible thing to do, isn't it, on Football Manager? Bring players back, change the formation when you're trying to hold on, but not me, I'm going for it. It's a win or bust for me. Bernat crosses it in and he's not won a corner. I thought it was going to be a corner. Now surely Boateng can clear that up. He does. But it's back over the top. Boateng calmly heads it to no one. But here goes Rode into Thiago. Nice play. It's cut out though. And you can sort of see them getting back into this. Yanezai, awful, awful finish from him. And it's good header by Boateng that time. Muller up to Lewandowski. Come on, guys. Oh, he's played it to no one. But Rhodes charging after it. Alaba into Bernat. Come on. Half a minute to go to hang on in this crucial game where I'm not really, you know, I'm not time-wasting or anything. I'm just... I've gone to standard flexible, but other than that, we're still pretty attacking. 10 seconds to hang on. They're going to lump it up the pitch. Boateng intercepts. This is surely the final whistle. Any second now. Here goes Muller. Can't complete his hat trick. And that's the end. We've won. Oh. And we're top of the table. Six, uh, three points clear of Stuttgart. And six clear of Dortmund. More importantly, I would say. Stuttgart could pose a threat, though, I'm sure. This season, they've only lost one game this season. And we're still unbeaten. So the next episode will actually be against Arsenal in this game, in the Champions League. So I'm going to play Galatasaray, then Arsenal in the Champions League, and then we'll, we'll, take, we'll show the second Arsenal game in episode four. So watch out for that, guys. Please like the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I will see you very soon.